What if I tell you that you can weld two pieces of metal together with your own hands in outer space? Will it be true or false? Think a little. And that would be true. Hypothetically, it indeed is possible. You need just to press them to each other and voila. In the Earth's atmosphere, oxygen creates a thin oxide layer on the metal's surface, which acts as a barrier. But it doesn't work like that up in space, where elements stick together if they come into contact with each other, as it happens during cold welding. Did you know that? No? Do you feel like taking a space quiz? You'll find out. Can you be stabbed in space by rain? Can you get burned by tears? And most importantly, how much do you know about space? If you answered my question about metal correctly, you already got one point. Let's start with facts about challenges encountered by a human in space. I'll give you three statements, one of which will be false. Tears hurt like fire in space. It's hard to cover up a crime there, and it's impossible to extinguish a fire. In space, you definitely should not watch Miley Cyrus' performance commemorating the death of her dog Floyd. When you start crying, tears don't run down, but gather around your eyeballs. Eyes get dry in space and will painfully burn if some liquid suddenly gets into them. If you plan to commit murder on the moon, you should reconsider it, as apparent evidence will give you away at once. There's neither water nor wind on the moon, so your fingerprints will stay there forever. The only way to avoid prison is to blame this on Buzz Aldrin, one of the first people to step on the moon. His fingerprints can still be found on the surface of the satellite. As for the danger of fire breaking out in a rocket, it'll be enough just to turn off the ventilation system. Fire can spread only if there's oxygen flow, so it's doomed to die out in space pretty fast. However, the situation may be further complicated by the intense smoke, sparking, and material melting. Under reduced gravity conditions, ordinary foam extinguishers are useless. Foam isn't released as a directed stream, but is randomly distributed all over the place. A fire extinguisher that uses sound waves to put out fires is currently being developed. The optimal frequency is found to be 55 Hz, with the intensity of sound at 120 decibels that can put out a candle flame. The sound level could be increased even more, but then the astronauts would just go deaf. If you thought that the fire option was false, let me congratulate you on getting another point. And what do you know about usual things that astronauts do in quite an unusual way? If an astronaut removes a spacesuit, they'll die in 15 minutes. Russian cosmonauts play poker before the flight as they think it'll bring them good luck. Some astronauts moonlight as postal workers and help Queen Elizabeth correspond with aliens. Pick what you think is wrong. Well, given that there's no pressure in space, an astronaut will really die quickly and painfully without their suit. Air in the lungs will expand and break lung tissue, blood will boil, and the capillaries will burst. The third option is a real fact. Astronauts like to leave some trifles on the moon, like two golf balls, an embarrassing drawing by Andy Warhol, or even a message from Queen Elizabeth II. Long story short, people litter not only on their own planet. As for the tradition of the whole crew playing poker until the captain loses, it does exist, but among American astronauts. They believe that this way, the captain, so to say, leaves all his bad luck on Earth. Meanwhile, Russian cosmonauts have other traditions, weirder ones. First of all, they have to plant a seedling, even if it's winter. 
then they watch the movie called The White Sun of the Desert. And by the way, it has nothing to do with space. The thing is that in 1971, the Russian crew of Soyuz 11 mission tragically died when returning to Earth. The next Soyuz 12 mission crew watched this movie before their flight, and everything went well. That's why watching White Sun of the Desert became a ritual to attract good luck. Then, before boarding a capsule, every crew member gets spun around in a swivel chair to prepare their bodies and minds for zero gravity. Rumor has it that Yuri Gagarin, the first human in space, established a ritual of peeing on a bus wheel that takes cosmonauts to the launch pad. Then a spacesuit is securely buckled up, and the next opportunity to relieve oneself appears only after a couple of hours in outer space. So if you guess that this option is false, you get one more point. Too bad we're not playing for money. By the way, do you know how expensive space is? Which of these isn't true? An autograph signed in space used to cost $1,000. You'll have to pay $1 million for sending one lemon into space. On a planet called Janssen, you can become approximately $39 million richer. How to sign anything if the ink doesn't reach the tip of a pen due to the absence of gravity. This is why American astronauts initially used special mechanical pencils to make notes, and their price was $1,000 each. Later on, special pens were invented to replace them. Well, yes, an autograph signed in space could be worth $1,000, but maybe NASA can afford to throw money around so carelessly because its employees managed to sneak into the Janssen planet, which lies in the constellation of Cancer. It's entirely composed of diamonds, and hypothetically, if someone takes possession of all its fossils, they'll become 30 nonillion dollars richer. And this is going to be enough to cover sending even a big fruit basket to alien friends. However, forget the million. You'll have to pay just $2,000 for the delivery of a lemon into space. Transporting a pound of load into space used to cost $10,000. Since then, prices have soared. And now the Cygnus cargo ship, developed by Orbital Sciences Corporation, charges as much as $43,180 per pound. And using new SpaceX carriers will require $37,000. But delivering a lemon for a few thousand is not the strangest thing in space. What do you think doesn't exist for sure? A drunken constellation, rain that can cut your skin, or fragments of the meteorite that caused the Tunguska event. A place that harbors more drunkenness than any other location in the entire universe is not Coyote Ugly Saloon in New York City. It's a gas cloud in the constellation of Aquila. It contains an enormous amount of ethanol, or simply put, alcohol. Do you feel like visiting this place? I know another one that you'll indeed not find appealing. It's a planet called HD 189733b, and its climate includes a never-ending glass rain. If you stood under it for even a single second, you'd feel as if thousands of knives pierced your body. As for the meteorite that caused the Tunguska event, it just disappeared. In 1908, an explosion occurred near the Tunguska River in Siberia, Russia. That day, a bright light lit up the sky, and the airburst destroyed a vast forest land and shattered windows in houses located within 200 kilometers. The force of that meteorite explosion can be compared to the power of a thermonuclear bomb. But there was not a single fragment left after the event. It's entirely possible that the meteorite was composed of ice and just evaporated. Or perhaps it was a giant alien spaceship. That was the last question of our space quiz. Now calculate your scores. If you scored four points, you're Stephen Hawking. You should try your hand at quantum cosmology. If you scored four points, 
you probably are Neil Tyson, who can explain how space works even to a baby. Three points for those who are pretty much like Elon Musk. You're very enthusiastic about space-related issues. Two points make you Samuel Shelton, who created the International Flat Earth Research Society. You need to take a deeper look at our universe. No offense, but if you got one point, you probably belong to those people who still believe in the Balkan myth. You know, the one claiming that the sun is a pancake stolen by the sky from a lady who made it. Everyone who got less than five scores is welcome to join a space refresher course. To do that, go to my channel and watch all the videos associated with our universe. Write your results in the comments.